the env underscore configs.4d file or environment configurations file contains and references customizations to the modeling environment which determines how 12D model performs and how licenses are accessed and controlled. You can access a blank environment configurations file by opening the 12D model client, clearing out whatever is in the registry file field, selecting the folder icon, then selecting open. Select environments on the left, then the insert button to create a new environment. I'm going to rename this environment survey because I'm going to use it to access my survey licenses. An environment file or env.4d file is provided with the installation of 12D model in the setups folder and is the default base environment for the out of the box running of the software. We configure changes to the base environment by overriding environment variables and storing them in an environment as we have begun to create here. So in creating multiple of these environments, all of our configurations for all of our unique modeling purposes can be stored in one file. To view the standard environment variables, which can be overridden in an environment, select define ENV overrides. You can see here it is possible to override environment variables for CAD, plotting, drainage, views, and so on. In this demonstration, the only environment variables we are going to override from the base environment can be found under Dongles, General, where we will define the location of the nodes.4d file and the dongles.4d files, which we have saved in our non-standard server location. Select the folder icon next to Nodes file, select Browse, then navigate to your server location, wherever that may be, and select your Nodes file. Because I am setting up this environment for when I want to access my survey license, for the Dongles file I will select the folder icon again, Select Browse, navigate to my server location, again, wherever that may be, then select my surveying dongles.4d file. When finished defining environment variable overrides, select Right, then Finish. The environment variables which have been overridden will be shown in this table. Of these rows that have been populated, Many will not impact upon the base environment file, so we can remove them. Leave only the authorization underscore 4D and dongles underscore 4D environment variables being overridden. Before moving on to the next environment, I'll select right to save this environment and a new environment configurations file will be created in the default user folder, which is C 12D 14 user. I'll then move this file to my non-standard server location once we have finished setting it up. In the same way as I've done for this environment, I'll insert new environments and set them up for my two flow, road design, drainage design, GIS interface, and visualization modeling purposes being sure to select the relevant dongles.4d file for each environment separately. I'll go away and do this and pick up the video once that is complete. I've now created the six environments for my six different license configurations and have written the environment configurations file to my default user folder, which is C12D14 user. You'll see when I step through the environments that the only things changing are the environment name and the dongles.4d file being referenced. Because my nodes.4d file contains the key for all of my licenses, it remains the same for each environment. I'll now move the environment configurations file to my non-standard server location, then open 12d model with the assistance of this file.
So now when opening a 12D model project, I'll open the demo project I created early in the video series. Under the registry file field, I'll browse to the non-standard server location. And select the environment configurations file. And under environment configuration, I'll select the filter icon and select to flow and open the project. Now in the output window upon startup, you'll see we're using the TwoFlow environment, which points to the TwoFlow dongles.4d file that we set up earlier. And under help about 12D model, you'll see our dongle number in the report corresponds to our TwoFlow standalone code meter. The same goes if I were to open 12D model with an environment that points to a license on my network code meter. This time I'll open my 12D model project with the drainage design environment. Again, checking the output window for when the project starts up. You can see we are using our drainage design environment and we are referencing the drainage dongles.4d file. And similarly, under help about 12d model, the dongle number matches that from the network code meter container corresponding to our drainage design licenses. So we have successfully used the environment configurations file to access each of our specific licenses, which are either located locally or on a network.